Why is the new strategic plan so important for SEPA? Well, SEPA is an organisation that is changing, but without necessarily an absolutely clear picture on where that change is going to lead it. So the 2007 Legal Services Act uh, removed from us our, our role as the regulatory body and we need to be much more of a membership body, much more of a representative organisation. And what the strategic plan attempts to do is to describe that to the members for the first time in terms of a series of actions that we can take over the next three years to provide benefits and services that help them in their practice um, and help them in their professional lives and take us forward as a membership organisation. And how can um, the members get involved in the development of the plan in the next stages? Well, we've got our ordinary mechanisms for members to be involved. So the, the plan will be published in the journal and obviously we would encourage our members to, to write in and, and respond to it in that way. But actually, this is about taking SEPA forward and doing things in new and different ways. So. Uh, with the officers, we plan to start to move around the country and, and visit member firms and visit industrial departments and have those conversations on a face-to-face -face basis. Um, we're active on, on Twitter and LinkedIn and we would encourage our members to, to use those spaces to start to tell us what they think about the plan, what we're getting right, uh, what perhaps isn't in the plan and they'd like to do for us. And of course, they can contact me directly. And finally, what's SEPA going to look like in five years' time? Five years' time, what an absolutely fascinating question. It will be the go-to organisation for policy makers, for decision formers in government, both at home and abroad, and it will also be an absolutely compelling membership organisation for IP practitioners in the UK. Lee Davies, thank you very much.